also wanted to talk to you about processing times and agencies, because when you're figuring out how to solve this conundrum, you're trying to consider, all right, do I need work authorization in the United States? If I need work authorization because I'm going to engage in productive employment, what it means is that I'm probably going to need to get a work authorizing non-immigrant visa. Those typically require a petition to be filed with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS for short, first. But the processing times of USCIS by petition is very important to review. And you'll see that, for example, an I-129 petition, which is often the base vehicle we use for many of the non-immigrant work authorizing categories, can take two months, eight months in order to be processed. So then we have to consider, can we pay the $2,500 premium processing fee, which gets an answer in 15 calendar days, not necessarily yes, um, and, and use that to cut down our processing time for USCIS, because of course, if we need a petition approval first, we got to get that. And then we have to go figure out how long is it going to take to get a visa appointment at a particular consular post? And then do I have any opportunity of expediting it? So it's just very important from the beginning to, when you're thinking about non-immigrant visas and being able to work in the United States or visit that the timelines and steps are something that unfortunately, no one's in um, the controlling seat about, yes, it's just gonna take this period of time. And so we all need together to work on reverse engineering the process to consider these steps to be the most effective in being able to meet our goals of starting work or being able to visit 